everybody, this is Rebecca and we are filming live on CU campus in Boulder, Colorado for Love Improv. Hi, I'm Sherry, welcome. And today we're going to cover the topic of young love versus maybe mature love or longer love. So there's a couple different types of love and loving out there. So since we're on campus, we are on campus. Uh, what about the love that comes after you move out of the house? Maybe you've had a long-term girlfriend or boyfriend through high school. You broke up on the summer before college, and holy cow, I'm out there and available. Yeah, and then you're out exploring the world and connecting with people in a bunch of different ways. So there may be that hot co-ed you see in your English class and you want to connect with her differently than you want to connect with your fraternity brothers or um, maybe you're starting a new job to help support the fact you're going to college and you're going to connect with people there much differently. But all of it can be L-O-V-E baby, can be all love. So five ways that you can really understand the type of love that you're doing and five ways you can connect. Okay, so the first type of love would be maybe friendship love? Yeah. Relationships that you start to garner as your roommates, your classmates, mm -hmm. uh, people that you work with. Right, just kind of like, hey, how goes it? Let's yeah. have a beer. Yeah. But then there's the other type of love, the flirtatious, lustful, uh, what happens after we have a bunch of beers type love. <laughs> Anything. Passionate and, yeah, let's check this out kind of love. Yeah. Then there can be the gamey type love where you start playing games, you're not really your authentic self, you kind of are just acting so that you can come to an outcome of some sort. Yeah, gaming. You're, you're, you've got your game on. You got game on, you're showing up, you've talked to your friends, you know you want to meet someone tonight. Yeah. Game's on. That's college love, if you ask me. Right. <laughs> well, then there's your mom and dad love. Hey, can you send me chicken soup, money, blankets, sheets, let's go to Target. I love you so much. Thanks for putting me through college. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Unconditional love, definitely. The parent-child love. The parent-child love, that, that uh, mutual caring. And finally, the last and greatest love is universal. It's a universal connection. So uh, that kind of happens through personal education, spiritual education, and navigating relationships and learning through experience. Yeah, getting centered in life. Yeah. So those are five ways, uh, those are five types of love, and then different ways you know that you're connecting is with the types of physical interactions you have as well as verbal interactions. So some physical interactions that might clue you in to the type of love you're uh, engaging in would be? The warm embrace when you see someone, and then maybe a little pat on the butt. A little yeah. Good game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or um, clearly kissing and maybe making it to first or second base. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting a home run, rounding all those bases for the oh. sports uh, enthusiasts <laughs> out there. Um, another way that people connect physically is actually through uh, writing letters or writing. That's actually. People don't think of that as a physical movement, but communicating through language. Oh, most definitely. And then last but not least... Being serenaded. Being serenaded <laughs> at your dorm room. So these are all the different ways that you experience love while here in college and then getting ready to go out to the real world. You'll find it applies differently in different scenarios. And uh, we wish you all the love and luck here at... Uh, See you, Boulder. Thank you for watching. I'm Rebecca. Keep it sexy. I'm Sherry. Love courageously.